In this problem, we're told how much work does a supermarket checkout attendant do on a can of soup he pushes 0.6 meters horizontally with a force of 5 newtons. Express your answer in joules and kilocalories. So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this can of soup, right, and this uh, supermarket checkout attendant is going to be pushing it 0.6 meters with a force of 5 newtons. Right? And what we're trying to find is how much work he does doing this. So in order to solve for this, you need to know what work is. So the formula for work is it equals F times d times the cosine of theta. So what are each of these terms? So in order to find the work, you need the force, and then you multiply by the distance, and then you multiply the cosine of theta. And what theta is, it's the angle between uh, the direction the thing is going and the direction of the force. So I'll explain that in a second, but all we gotta do is basically plug it in. So they give us the force, right? The force being applied is five newtons, right? So five newtons times the distance, which is gonna be 0.6 meters, multiplied by the cosine of theta. So theta is the angle between the direction it's going and where the force is being applied, right? So we know it's going this way, right, to the right, and we also know the force is on top of it, right? So this is the direction it's going, right, and the force is being applied directly on top of it, right? And it's the angle between the two. But if two things are on top of each other, there's gonna be no angle between. So the angle theta between the direction, uh, the direction it's going and where the force is applied is just zero. And the cosine of zero is just one. So really, it's just going to be equal to, or the work is going to be equal to uh, the force multiplied by the distance. So that's all you have to do, essentially. So you just want to do 5 times 0.6, and you'll get 3. So you get work equals, and then we measure it in joules. So when you do newtons times meters, you get joules. So it's going to be 3 joules. That's going to be the work. So the work equals 3 joules. And then they also want us to put it in kilocalories. So how do we do that? So you need to know this conversion, which is 1... Uh, kilocalorie, right, is equal to uh, 4,184 joules, right? So this is going to be the conversion. So if we want to convert from one to the other, we have three joules, right? And we know that there's one of these, right, for every single uh, joule. So we just got to write it like this. And then what you should notice is it'll cancel, right? So basically, you're just doing three and dividing by 4,184. Uh, 4, so when you do this, you're going to get that it equals 7. So you get it equals 7.17, or about this, 7.17 times 10 to the minus 4, right? And then k cal, right? So this is just the shortened version of that. But essentially, 7.17 times 10 to the minus 4 kilocalories, that's going to be it in, right, in this denomination. And then this is it with this units. So uh, these are going to be your answers. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.